What's good, y'all? Back to another video. Uh, first, before I get into this video, I just want to say thank you to anyone that's watched my last video. The first one as a channel introduction, pretty much just you know, quick little talk, you know, what to expect of this channel, and whatnot, what kind of videos to expect. So, if you want to check that out, uh, I'll leave the link tag in the description below. So, if you want to check it out, it's there for you. But, um, yeah, anyone that's subscribed, I seriously appreciate it. I really do. Uh, I think I'm already at like 10 or 11 or 13, something like that. So, really appreciate it. I really do. But yeah, I mentioned in the last video, I was going to get like more in depth and stuff behind me, talk more about that stuff. And also, the best part about the room is the metal rack with all my short boxes. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so here we go. Uh, usually, I have my chair like right here, but as moved aside for now, just wait. That way, it'll be easier to just navigate through here and like show y'all what's going on up here. But uh, first up, my wallpaper on my uh, laptop. Uh, y'all, let me know who's y'all's favorite X Men member. Uh, for me, it's Wolverine. And if that's y'all's favorite member, let me know who it is besides Wolverine. For me, it's going to be. Uh, it's, it's always been a toss-up for me between Storm and Jean. I really cannot decide. Like, I never can. Uh, if I had to pick one right now, I'll just go and say Storm. But yeah, let me know who y'all's favorite uh, X-Men member is. If it's Wolverine, let me know who it is besides him. So yeah, it's that. And also behind the laptop, on top, got uh, stickers and whatnot. There's these like random packs for like the 80th anniversary of Marvel um, a couple years back or whatever. I ended up buying some just for the heck of it because they were like stupid cheap. But yeah, I have these, uh, some of my, my favorite characters and whatnot. So yeah, got that. Anyways, next up, the Infinity War and Endgame poster right here. So my two favorite movies are Infinity War and, and Civil War. But I feel like it would look kind of goofy, I guess you could say. If I have those two up there, I feel like it just... Because, I mean, this is self-explanatory. It's Infinity War and Endgame. It just looks right. It looks really good. So got those two there. And by the way, when it comes to these posters, they're like these cheap ones from Walmart. I think I forgot how much it costs, like 12 bucks or something like that. I do not suggest them at all because long term they are just not good whatsoever. You know, down here, I don't collect figures or anything, but uh, when it comes to like my favorite villains, I just want to like have them just have you know have something cool looking on my desk and whatnot. So my favorite villain of all time, Doctor Doom. Got Magneto. Got him last month at uh, Comic Palooza. Thanos and Venom. Uh, just one more I need, and that's Kane the Conqueror. Uh, there's actually one coming out um, later on this year, so waiting for that to come out. But uh, next up, uh, best part of this area for sure, easily, is the wall. So, Spider-Man, top. And bottom is, you know, different stuff and whatnot. Um, funny thing about this is made in Spider-Man 51. I know it's not the best looking copy, that's for sure. I kid you not, I found that thing for like only 75 bucks at half price books. Kid you not, it happened like, I want to say like, I don't know, a month, month and a half ago or something like that. So yeah, my uh, first uh, double digit Spidey right there. So that's cool. Got 361, first appearance of Carnage. It's 300 right there. My favorite Spider-Man comic of all time is uh, Annual 6. 252, first Black Suit. 238, first Hobgoblin, which... I actually got this thing for a steal. I kid you not, I bought this thing for only 140 bucks off someone on uh, what's called on Instagram last year in October. Um, it doesn't have the tattoos. I don't care too much for it. As long as the cover looks decent, and it definitely does. It's like the worst part about it is like this right here, and that's pretty much it. Other than that, really nice looking copy. 28, first McFarlane, first uh, Eddie or Venom cameo, however you want to put it. Down we got over here, Young Avengers 1, first appearance of the Young Avengers. Um, man, I'm like so hyped and just can't wait for the day we finally see these guys actually team up in the MCU. Uh, we all know it's coming, it's just a matter of waiting pretty much. Got Punisher 1 and Wolverine 1. I actually got both of these for like mad cheap, like both of them under for 20 bucks at a Comic Palooza last month. Uh, one of them, I think it was, yeah, this one, I think it's like tear like right there. Other than that, it's a decent looking copy. So, yeah, was, both of them are books I've been wanting for like a long while. So, glad I finally got them. So, yeah, it's that. And then next up, all right, something to know about me. Um, I'm a big Luke Cage fan. Big Luke Cage fan. Um, I absolutely love the show. Hopefully, they can end up somehow bringing him back um, in the MCU, bring him back in some show or movie or anything at all, just whatever. Um, but, yeah, big Luke Cage fan. First appearance right here. So yeah, got that. Next up, we got Secret Wars 8. Is somewhat of a recent pickup, actually. Uh, 
Oh, when it comes to speaking of Secret Wars, let me know how hyped y'all are for like the future of like uh, the MCU. So like the Phase Five slate, we saw like the whole thing, and for Phase Six, we saw Fantastic Four, Avengers, King Dynasty, and Secret Wars. Let me know how hyped y'all are for the future of the MCU, and what are some of your favorite projects you're looking forward to? Got Moon Knight right here, number one, and my favorite comic book of all time, Infinity Gauntlet number one as far as why it's number one and whatnot i'll get into that later because i have like a video planned actually it's going to be uh, titled uh how i got into comic books so i'll get more into that later on and then down here two slabs we got x-men 94 and world by 32 uh first appearance of the new team first appearance of the team in the ongoing series and then we got world by night 32 first appearance of moon knight so yeah two books i just absolutely love all right, it's pretty much it for this part of the room. Uh, let me know in the comments, what are your two favorite books from the wall? So I'll go give y'all a quick look again. So yeah, let me know in the comments what your uh, two favorites, if you could pick two. Got there, 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 and that's that. Now it's my favorite part of the room. Easily is my metal rack with all my short boxes. You got 10 total, so without further ado, let's get into it. Now, obviously I'm not gonna show y'all every single thing. It's just, this is not that kind of video. But um, yeah, I this is what I'm doing for now. I'm using these like note cards with like red Sharpie on them. I'm doing that for now um, until what I want to end up doing is I want to like save images of like comic covers for like Amazing Spider-Man, X-Men down there, Avengers, Luke Cage. Like I'll save like one image of a comic from those series. And what I want to do is I'm gonna Photoshop the cover off of it, except for like the title itself. And what I'm gonna do with that is like save them as like PNGs. And what I'm gonna do is I'll go to the library print them out and whatnot and basically use those labels for across like this part of the box so so i plan on doing so um yeah i'll get to that whenever i get around to it but um yeah as far as like which boxes that i dabble into the most it's usually um over here current series and events and mini series current series for obvious reasons you know comments i'm buying and reading weekly so we got avengers forever black panther carnage Daredevil, which really clean covers number one right there. Got Eternals, which actually just ended not too long ago on 12. So hopefully um, it's somewhat sooner, maybe like early next year, when they bring the series back. Got Ghost Rider number one right there, also really clean cover. Hulk, Donny Cates Hulk right there, which has been really fun to read. Yeah, these things are rubbing against the damn side. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got Shang-Chi right here, which... Same thing for Eternals, also ended on number 12, um, but what they did ha end up doing like not so long after number 12, is they ended up dropping this, the Chong chi and the Ten Rings number one. So now this is the new uh, ongoing series right here. So yeah, got that. Let's see what's next. We got, well, here we go. Strange right there, which has been pretty cool. It's Clea as a Sorcerer Supreme. And then last is Venom. It's like the only one for all the number ones that I don't have the regular cover for. I just like this variant too much, it's just too clean. So I had to make an exception for that one. So yeah, that's that. It's tough to read and keep up with all these uh, series. I'm, I think I'm literally buying like what, nine or 10 or something like that um, monthly series. But two that I just started um, recently is actually Moon Knight right here. So man, I hate myself for it still. Like I told myself like before this thing came out, get this buy this um series i didn't dude i kid you not like oh man like a few weeks ago i ended up buying like 1 through 13 off of ebay for like 90 something bucks obviously we all know it would have been a lot cheaper had i just bought these things at you know cover price back when they're coming out but you know it is what it is i got them now so yeah there's number one right there and then two through 13 uh all regular covers another series i ended up buying recently was hold up Amazing Spider-Man. So I was going to get one through five off of myconmentshop.com for a retail. Really good website, by the way. If y'all never use um, myconmentshop.com, besides eBay, that's like the only other place you should be buying comics online easily without a doubt. But yeah, so I got one through five on, on there. Read all of those in like one sitting. I really enjoyed them. And then six was the first one that I bought that um, when it came out. 900. It is crazy to think, like, a couple years from now, we're really going to be at, like, a thousand issues legacy-wise of Amazing Spider-Man. 
So yeah, cool cover. I've always liked the Sinister Six, so easy cover for me to like. Yeah, this book is just crazy thick. It's just like, dude, it took me a while to read this thing. It was literally like 96 pages in this. So yeah, that's that. And then as far as like the rest of my Spider-Man box right here, it's pretty much anything that's like an ongoing series that's not, um, what's it called? That's not Amazing Spider-Man. So we got Miles number one right there. I have majority of these. My biggest run is 18 all the way through 40, which is like the current one they're on. The only other pricey one that I need to get is number six, which is the first appearance of um, what's it called Starling, who's actually the uh, granddaughter of uh, Vulture. So yeah, that's only like other pricey one I need to get. Other than that, I got majority of them. So that's that. Got some Miguel action over here. It's one or it's two. I got majority of uh, those two. I need like. I don't know, like 16 or 17 more. It's like 46 total in the series. And over here, we got Ultimate Spider-Man. Cool thing about this is um, I have um, majority of these. I got for two bucks a piece at price books, except for like three of them I bought for like five a piece, which was like two, three, and... Oh, man, I forgot the number. Um, I think it's 60 or 59. It's the first appearance of a Ultimate Carnage. I forgot which number it was, but yeah. I got those for like five bucks, five bucks a piece at um, Comp Palooza last month. But other than that, every single Ultimate Spider-Man issue I got, only got it for like two bucks a piece at um, half price of books. So, yeah, it's that. Um, let's see, yeah, over here um, is where I keep my uh, bags for my current comics. So, anything like 1980 and after, I'll put in one of these bags. And these boards right here. So yeah, Ultra Rose are brand I use for the bags, and then the boards. I uh, mean, what's it called? I think it's called Vintage Collectibles. I'm pretty sure. I'll, um, if it's wrong or if it's right, I'll just, regardless, I'll put a picture on the screen right here for y'all. So yeah, that's that. It's tape, of course. And then over here, same thing, but for Silver Age. So, got our Silver Age bag right here and Silver Age boards. Uh, right here, just bugs um, just scattered that I need to like get put away into boxes and whatnot. So right here, we got like past releases from um, like the past like two weeks, I think, I'd say. Strange 4. Ghost Rider 5, Moon Knight 14, Venom 9, 2099 Exodus 5, and Edge of Spider-Verse 1. So yeah, that's that. Uh, more stuff over here. I actually got these uh, yesterday, so we're going to team up. We got 10 right there, 11. I really like the cover to these. Got 12 right there and 16 so yeah got that um i bought number one actually at what's it called um con palooza last month for like 10 or 15 bucks i'd say so yeah um over here we got moon knight and ghost rider box luke cage box right here which like i said earlier big luke cage fan y'all i have like majority of this series like complete like i'm almost done to having one through 125 um i got all the single digit issues Except for like, what's it called? Um, seven and nine. I think seven and nine are like the only single digit issues I don't have yet. Number nine is that like really, really clean Dr. Doom cover. It's a really nice cover. Um, definitely one that I want to get still. But uh, yeah, down here, uh, Judgment Day, which is like our current like big event that's going on. Uh, y'all been know in the comments what y'all think of it, if y'all been reading it. Um, I, I definitely enjoyed it. I think it's gonna turn out being a really good um, event. Uh, right here's Eve right there. And here's like free comic book day one. It's actually the first appearance of um Bloodline, who is Blade's daughter. So that's cool. And that's this previews catalog right there. That's all that is. So um this is gonna be the first comic that I'm gonna send off to get uh clean and press and graded. Uh myself. So that's gonna be the first time I wanna like ever do that and send a comic off to get graded. See, so yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. Um yeah, Marvel Spotlight 2, first appearance of Werewolf by Night. Um, I'm really looking forward to the Halloween special. Uh, I just, I literally like just now became a fan of this character, like literally this year. But um, yeah, so this is a clean looking copy. Besides like, got this going on right here and like you know, the spine doesn't look the best. But I mean, other than that, it's a nice looking copy. Now the only like downside to this one, you got like, this is like blue ink like at the bottom. Um, thankfully it doesn't like run onto the pages. It's just like that edge right there and that's it. But I mean, other than that, dude, this, for the price that this thing was at, 
compared to everything else that I was looking at, um, dude, this easily was my, the best buy, best thing that there was for me. So yeah, really glad to have this in my collection now. So that's that. But um, yeah, it's a collection. So Amazing Spider-Man is like the biggest chunk of my collection. I have a complete run actually of uh, 200 all the way through 441 except except for one and that's 431 so that first uh full appearance of a carnage cosmic i i, I call him cosmic carnage it just sounds better but yeah complete run in case you haven't caught on already um i have my comics uh back to back like that that way the spines aren't like all the spines aren't pressed up against each other and whatnot so yeah we got complete run and whatnot of 200 through 441 except 431 so yeah, I'm not gonna show everything, but that's that. Some annuals right here is two. First crossover between Spider-Man and Doctor Strange. Some other stuff. So yep, yeah, that's that. And then last thing I'll show is down here. Got my X-Men box for my Uncanny X-Men. Which, another thing to know, uh, I'm like a huge, like, like big time X-Men fan. Like, just as big of a Spider-Man fan. Well, just as big as I, just as big as a fan I am of uh, Spider Man. There you go. So yeah, um, and here I got the um, '90s all the way up to like 249 or 50, I think. There's like first Jim Lee right there. That's that. Let's show like my favorite cover right here. Hold up. Not right here. So yeah, easily without doubt my favorite cover when it comes to X Men. So yeah, that's that. I'm at like, I want to say like close to 200 or I'm at 200 issues of Uncanny X-Men. And then right here I have 200 like 50 or 51 all the way through uh, 350. So yeah, that, I'm gonna show all that clean cover. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, one of the last things I'll show real quick, got Avengers box. Um, at first this was a new Avengers box. Um, well, that's what's inside of here. But um, I had to like improvise and put other stuff in here for the time being until I can get it in like its own boxes. But um, I actually have a, a full run, a complete run of new Avengers one through 64, which I'm actually gonna do its own video for uh, next month. So there's number one right there. We have the complete run, 1 through 64. I'm not missing a single issue. So I'll do a whole video like showcasing, showing off the, um, the whole series right there. Because the other stuff I have in here is Young Avengers, Walking 3D Watch 1 through 10, some Silver Surfer, Mortal Iron Fist. Daredevil, so I have the uh, full run of uh, the Death of Electra storyline. That. But uh, yeah, that's, that's some Ultimate Fantastic Four right there also. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be it for this video. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all thought of this video. Uh, let me know in the comments also, um, what uh, videos would you like to see me do? Let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see me do. Um, one last thing to show, got Giant Size X-Men 1 right here, and Venom um, with the Protector 1 posters over here. Um, when it comes to Giant Size X-Men 1, that was like my absolute like grail, along with Incredible Hulk 181, so Hope I can make one of them or both of them happen next year. That would be cool. But yeah, that's really it. Um, once again, huge thank you to every single one of you that's like watched the video so far and subscribed. I really appreciate it. I really do. It means a lot more than, to me than you know. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna really enjoy uploading on this channel. Um, I literally have like all of this month of September already mapped out. Um, it's gonna be one video a week. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it. Appreciate y'all for watching as always, and I'll see y'all the next one.